You know what up, guys? Back right here in the shotgun. We're gonna have a little talk tonight. First, we're gonna roll that intro. Say about it is I have to take a break. Um, that's all it really is. It's um, it's overwhelming. Um, I started this whole shed, um, and I started all the hobby, and it became way more than that. And I'm not happy about it. At first, I was very excited about it, but. It's just, um, it's getting to the point where it's not fun anymore. You know, it's, uh, don't get me wrong, and I'm doing this for you guys. Everyone is watching this video right now. I literally did this to help people, to show people how to do their own stuff. Um, if you guys watch the videos, yeah, I don't hide nothing. I don't hide any, anything. Um, I try to do this to help you guys, so that way it's, more affordable for you guys, I can be more lights on the road. That's my end goal. And um, quite frankly, I took on some bike work and love doing it. I had a couple of other people doing it, but the bike work is not why I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing this to make content for you guys. I'm doing this because I enjoy doing this. And it just it became the point where it's no longer enjoyable. It's more of a headache. Um, I'm always swamped, as you guys see. I mean, this is this will be my first video out in probably a month, over a month. And the last video that came out before that was actually shot way longer than that. Um, and that's just because I, I don't have time. Um, I just don't. I do this literally. I had bikes in here all the time. That's never at all I wanted. I never ever wanted to become a motorcycle repair shop. Um, that never that that's just that's just what it turned into. It turned into working on a bunch of bikes, fixing a bunch of bikes, and it came into like fixing maintenance issues or I mean kind of like this one right here. This is a buddy's bike, so my fixing standard went out of it. The rotor boss ripped out. It's like this, this repair stuff is not what I wanted to do. Um, I said, I'm doing it as a hobby. I just kind of enjoy doing it. And I like building bikes, um, like the stunt bike series, both stunt bike series actually, the stolen the stolen bike series, and my bike. Um, I really, really enjoy doing that kind of stuff. I got um, Kurt's big little bagger, which is technically our customer's bike. But Kurt has become a really close friend over the time of doing this. And I'm, I'm going to finish this bike now 100%. And I'll continue to work on this bike whenever he wants it done. But um, yeah, just. Yeah, I want to get back to it being enjoyable. Um, I want to get back to having fun working on the stuff. You know, just that's what, I'm, that's what it boils down to is actually enjoying what I do again. And it'll take a little bit, but I'll get there. But like, my bike is actually behind you guys right now, and I haven't touched it. We tore it apart last October, and that's basically how it sat. You guys 
I've seen a little sneak peek of it shortly after I came over to Daytona. Um, I go to actually in one of the cam videos or big wheel bike video, one of the videos, I said you got the frame. I bought the frame in Daytona and that's the most progress I made on it was with the Daytona plate week, I bought a frame for it. That's so it's pretty sad that in quite a few months, the only time I got to it, I ran the frame. Um, but I want to get back working on that again and obviously make it kind of nice for you guys. Um, to make it all the fun time, kind of get it. Just getting back to enjoying it. Um, I got most of the stuff to start motor vlogging and I haven't had any time to do it because I'm constantly working on bikes. So, yeah, I deleted all the social media and deleted my Facebook, Snapchat. I actually changed my phone number so that way everyone that's gave me out my phone number over the past, so they can no longer text me for bike to work. Like, I am, that's how dumb I am. I'm not the screw. That's just, you know, if that doesn't tell you how over the top dumb I am with it, there's really no words for it. Because it's just, just done. That's all there is to it. I want to get back to enjoying it. That's what I'm going to do. And if it means cutting a bunch of people off, sorry about it. Um, but yeah, I'll keep making this a how to video. I'll keep showing you guys the, uh, YouTube, how to work on your stuff, to help you. If you have any questions on, on YouTube, comment down below if you need anything at all. Like, I am more than willing to, I mean, give out some my advice on what I would do. I'm more than willing to open up one of my service manuals and give you torque specs. But it's just, I'm done working on other people's stuff. I'm done being that service shop. I'm done being that performance shop. I mean, this is like, this is a YouTube job, all right? Like, this is a YouTube set. <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm not a bike shop. I don't want to be a bike shop. I want to have fun. So that's basically my rant. Um, I just figured you guys deserve an explanation on why I deleted everything, why I haven't had any time to already recently. And that's it. It's because I'm stressed out. Um, yeah, it was, it's, it's stressful. <laughs> Anyone that says they run a business and so they're not stressed, they're lying. Um, I mean, there are nights where like I'm literally laying in bed awake because I can't sleep. I'm so stressed out over, you know, what what bike am I gonna do? What bike am I gonna finish? You know, what are the parts gonna be here? Um, just so I'm gonna tell you that two weeks ago from today, I had like 14 bikes here and. I mean, I have 14 bikes, I have a 15 by 30 shop. You do, you do the math on how much room there was in here. Um, obviously, you guys that know me personally, know about you, know I have my grandpa living right in front of me, and I have my uh, little brother that also lives right next door. So it's, it's awesome being up there here because I can kind of invade in their shops to put stuff, but um, I don't want to do that. Like, I'm done. Um, so yeah, it's just, the stress got to me, um, I won't say got to me, it's just I've had enough. Um, so yeah, that's uh, time for a social media break. Um, I'm going to continue making content, hopefully you guys will see a lot more of it now. I went back to work full time, so I'm no longer doing this full time. Um, I'm back to work full time. I'll be doing it for the side again. Uh, we have a lot more time to actually make the videos because I'm not my time. And I'm not on somebody else's time anymore. <sighs> Might as well day. <laughs> but, yeah. So, hopefully this kind of clears everything all up. I don't have any hard feelings with anybody. Um, a lot of people have a lot of hard feelings with me because I turned down the hard life work. But, it is what it is. But anyways, as always, guys, I hope you guys get your shiny side up. 